In California, the cleanup of a massive environmental nightmare is underway, and it's just miles from downtown Los Angeles. State regulators discovered a battery recycling plant was spewing harmful chemicals over thousands of homes for years. Steve Patterson visited these neighborhoods and spoke to families dealing with the fallout. Um, for three. Inside the home of Terry Cano and her son Joseph, life seems normal. I'm close to meeting you again. But outside, an invisible threat. There's a certain amount of, of risk that he's taking just walking out the door. The Canos in many of their neighbors' yards are saturated with pollutants harmful to childhood development in concentrations up to 100 times higher than health standards. Breaks my heart. The source of the threat, Exide Technologies lead acid battery recycling facility five miles from downtown L.A. Officials say the smelter inside this Exide facility spewed harmful chemicals, including lead, over a radius of about 1.7 miles. That impacts several communities, including an estimated 10,000 homes. State records show the plant had been operating on a temporary permit for more than 30 years, cited by the state for dozens of violations. In 2015, Exide shut down the facility and pledged to help clean up, a deal that took criminal prosecution off the table. It's a fight that's personal because I live in the same neighborhoods. Assemblyman Miguel Santiago yeah, says the socioeconomics of the Mexican immigrant area led to a slow reaction from state regulators. It was a case of environmental racism. This is what happens in a community when no one cares about it. 176 million has been approved to start the cleanup effort. Fewer than 300 properties cleaned so far. Exide tells NBC News it will, quote, be a constructive participant in cleanup efforts, but insists that decades of lead paint and gas exhaust contributed to the problem. It's almost like, like you're watching some horror movie or it's a horrible dream. So one, two, three. The and next move I for Kano, a lawsuit against Exide in the state. But that will all take time as the community does what it has for years in the face of unspeakable worry, wait. Steve Patterson, NBC News, Vernon, California.